Rocking Star. A mouth-watering, memorable dish starts with mixing herbs and spices from different countries to create a fusion of fascinating flavors. We have nine new home cooks who bring their culinary passion to the camera nationwide. The contestants will compete in an intense cooking competition to win the title and award, ShopRite Cooking Star. ShopRite Cooking Star, season two. Three new contestants in this round. Last week we saw what Shamira Ji did. She's going on to the next. Who will go in this round? I have a special guest for you. A guest that I've been waiting for to meet since last year. Who could it be? Please, let's not make her wait. Please welcome last year's winner, Millie Rajput. Hi everyone, this is Millie Rajput, the winner of ShopRite Cooking Star Season 1. Thank you so much, Akshay, for such a warm welcome. Any tips for our three new contestants? It's round two. Oh wow, it's a round two. All the contestants must Cook with your heart. Dil se khana banaiye aur dil tak pahunchiye because the special ingredient is nothing but love. Can you make that hard for me? <laughs> so mm. please add love to your recipe because that really adds the real taste. Love is in the air. Let's go. <laughs> Let's welcome our three new contestants. Our first contestant is Rachna Dube. Hi. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I'm Rachna, and I'm currently a student at the Rutgers Business School. I have danced for almost 15 years of my life, 11 of those which were professional ballet. I used to cook a lot with my mom, and then in eighth grade, I joined this class called Foods Around the World. What I ended up doing was taking some of those recipes even outside of class and implementing them at home with uh, like a whole like Indian twist to it. Do you think your dancing moves are going to help you behind the stove? They'll definitely help me get somewhere. All right, all right. Let's welcome our second contestant, Mr. Lalit Khandelwal. <laughs> Pleasure meeting you, sir. Yeah, hi, my name is uh, Lalit Khandelwal. I am based out of uh, South Brunswick, New Jersey. I live with my wife, uh, Sona, and two daughters. Cooking actually gives, uh, this, it's a stress reliever for me and, and, and bring the joys and happiness. So that is actually uh, pretty good. You know, I really feel relaxed. And specifically cooking for friends, you know, gives me enormous uh, happiness. So the stress is from IT and not from your wife? No, no absolutely not. Okay, all right. <laughs> Let's welcome our third contestant, Shade Johnson. Hi, my name is Shade Johnson from Linden, New Jersey, and I'm an actress and comedian, and I love to cook. So Shade, I hear you're an actress. Yeah. And you love cooking. How do they? How do those two gel together? You have to be a comedian to cook. You have to. You have to be funny and lovely. Before our contestants make their dishes, we're going to take a short break. So don't go anywhere. So every group has its own energy. Oh. Oh. Okay. What's going on? No tension here. What are you doing there, Rachna? I think I would say I'm dancing. So she's dancing. She's not nervous. What about you, Sadat? Ooh, she Ooh. got the flavor flame too. Lalit by yeah, top. Yeah, I'm not behind. There <laughs> we go, there we go. So guys, here it is. I know you're dancing, but let's get serious. You got 10 minutes. 10 minutes to get all you want. Does ShopRite have it for you? I can guarantee they do. But can you find it? Mm, it's ShopRite. I'm pretty sure I can find it. Ooh, I like the Sanaz on this one. But what about you, should I? I got this. Oh, <laughs> I got this. She got it. We've heard that before. How about you, Lalit Bhai? Yeah, Jab? absolutely. I got it. And I just want to say, I'm tanahi nikle the, dahi jamane, bundiya milti gayi, raita jamta gaya. Bhai sahab, 10 minutes bacha hai? 10 minutes. Shere shari ke time nahi hai. <laughs> Chalo nikle! Let's go! <laughs> okay, garlic. <laughs> How do you know I'm a shopper? Okay. Yeah, I love you too. Bye. So, I also am husband, so I have to get food for my wife. Uh, 
Ah, I need my Poland Sphinx sparkling water. And so, we got orange, we got black cherry, we got lime, we got lemon. Ah, huh, which one do I need? Which one do I want? Um, beggars can't be greedy, so I'm gonna go for the lemon. Maybe use that for some uh, tequila later on. You know what I'm saying? All right. my Campbell's soup. I got the pickles, jalapenos for later on, the peppers. Ah, the chunky. What do I want? So many choices to pick from. But eh, my mom would like if I chose the vegetables, but that ain't happening. So we're gonna go for the spicy sirloin burger. Ah, get it open, I got one Ah, get it open. Get away, you do it, yeah. <laughs> I feel good. I think I got everything. I'm hoping. Not as easy as we thought, huh? Not at all. Should I? What happened? Yeah, when I was trying to open a parsley bag, I couldn't get it open, so I just had to wrap another bag around it. Wait, wait, you put the parsley in another bag, but wrap the... What? You just had to make it work. I had to make it work. Competition. Got to do what you got to do, right? How about you, Rachna? What happened with you out there? Well, there was one ingredient that I almost messed up on getting. So I was looking for the coriander, uh -huh. but then the parsley was right on top. And I went, picked it up, I put it right back down, and then I was like, maybe this one. And I looked at it, I was like, this is wrong. So I put it right back down, I was like, this is the one. I okay. threw it in, and I dashed to the sweet corn. Time management, I love these skills. Love it myself. What did you do? What happened yeah, with you? For me, I memorized actually all the ingredients and because I didn't want to miss anything. And then aisle and ingredients, you know, combination and it worked perfectly fine. The final question. Here it is. Who's going to win? Me. Mm, not them. Not them. I guess we got to find out. Meet me on the other side. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome our immaculate judges. They're no strangers. You already know them. Chef Navjot and Akash Bhai. Good to see you again. Good to see you again. Good. So question for you guys. Three new contestants. What are you guys expecting? I'm expecting a lot of good flavoring food. I'm expecting to see what they can present better than last time. Mm -hmm. And some flavorable items, what they can create and they cannot. Creativity, like it. How about you, Chef Nujo? Judging from last time, I'm, I'm super excited and I'm sure they'll put up a better spread for us and uh, looking forward. The moment we've been waiting for. So contestants, are you ready? You will have 25 minutes, 25 minutes to make the dish of your choice. You can earn up to a possible 10 points. You'll be judged on taste, presentation, creativity, and skill. Any questions? We just want to wish you the best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're ready. We're ready. Okay, all right, when I say go, the timer starts. Ready, count down. Three, two, one, go. Do you think you can knock it down in 25 minutes? I think so, we're gonna see. All right, all right. Let's buy some up, kya banana ho? Badiya, katori, chaat. Spicy. Chaat. Chaat pata. Ah, chickpeas ke Coming in handy. I just need the strength. <laughs> Interesting. You would cut the out. Yeah.
Billy, since you've been here before, I think it's time for you to cheer them up. Let's go on that side. Sure. And find oh. out yeah. or how you can cheer them up while they're doing their thing. Wow. Sure, that, why not? <laughs> Let's nice. go. After you. Hi, everyone. Hi. <laughs> I love all these, like, you know, chopping so fast. Look at the vegetables. You know, I love colors. So what's cooking? I'm having, it's going to be quinoa stir fry rice with mushrooms and kale. Oh, that looks great. And what exactly is here? This is it's quinoa? quinoa? Yes. Nice. Memories Beautiful. coming? Beautiful. Memories yes, coming back, Yes, I Millie? know. I still remember chopping vegetables and running around and, you know, pushing, pulling the pans. I <laughs> you <laughs> But I must say, you're making a lot of Thank Where you. Where are you? Dili? Nagpur. Yes. What's cooking, Rachna? Um, so I'm going to be making like a twist on pav bhaji. Oh my god, twist on pav bhaji. Yes. I always like twist. With a little bit of dhaniya ki chutney. Oh, kya baat hai? And wo bhi ekdam fresh coriander yeah. ki chutney. Sixteen minutes, thirty seconds and counting, guys. Hey, look at Lalit. I'm, I'm amazed. <laughs> I hope they make three plates. They, yeah, yeah, they have to make three plates. In Mary plate, I'll eat it in my bag. I'll be happy that. for you guys to... Yeah, we'll taste it. Yeah, yeah no, whatever it is, it looks good. Whatever it is, it looks good. Presentation, creativity, and taste. You got 10 minutes and counting left. 10 minutes. Are you guys nearing the end? But did you feel 25 minutes was enough? to do your dish from For scratch? One dish. No, I think it's fine. Because anyways, it's a race against time, right? Keeping that time element is very, very important. important. Yeah, yeah as, as in a restaurant, you know, if you don't, when a customer comes and sits outside and you have that order in front of you, you need to right. execute it in, yeah. in very quick time. Yeah. How much longer do you need from a presentation we're looking for, so? Nine minutes should be good. How much time do you think you'll need? Six minutes. Six minutes, okay. Sade, how much time do you think you need? Ooh, five minutes. Five minutes, all right. Competition is tight. Two minutes left. So guys, we're entering the final lap. Let's get our finishing touches in. Guys, we're coming to the last minute now, okay? I want to eat. You want to eat? Ten seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. That's it. Oh, we got a pose. I think I'm pretty proud of myself, actually, given the time limit and just how quickly I needed to put this dish together. I think I did well. <laughs> I guess. I think I did OK. I myself was surprised that uh, I could make uh, within 20, 25 minutes. Uh, but it was, uh, I, I guess, one of the best cooking experience I had. So let's welcome Rashna Dubey. This is for you. Thank you. So my recipe is uh, relatively simple. It does have a lot of vegetables. Capsicum, tomatoes, onions, garlic, and chili. And then while that is cooking, you can actually get started on chutney, which you're going to get coriander, garlic, and tomato, and a little bit of chili as well and you're gonna put it in a blender, bring another pan and get the pao, make it crispy for a little bit. After you take it out of the pan, you're gonna put the bottom piece, put uh, a little bit of the chutney as well, and then put your um, sabji, put the cheese on top, and then close it. Mm. I see it's well seasoned, and 
Mm. Packs a kick. It's spicy. What is I spicy? Like spice. So I actually put a little bit of pav bhaji masala. Um, it should have the spice in that. And I also put uh, red chili um, powder. So that is mostly the spice. I personally love spice. Um, so I like adding a good chili. No, I think the, the bread and the spiciness, savoriness, it goes well together. The salad is a perfect accompaniment. It's almost a take on the bailey and pav bhaji. Yes, yes. My only, only concern would be the bread, you did, did you bake that? I did not bake it myself. I, I know it's possible, I know. But if majority of the, the dish is not made here by you, then it's definitely mm. not something that you should be putting on your plate. Okay. That's my only criticism. Okay. But you have 25 minutes, yeah. come yeah. on. Yeah. Huh? You're giving, it, it, it giving her too much time, time, but I will give her more than that. But the dish is amazing. <laughs> okay. It's really good. It's perfect pav bhaji blend, the how it is supposed to be spicy, perfect. And yes, what he says, uh, that what you don't make, yeah. it should not go on the dish. Yeah. But it did go, it looks perfect. And spiciness is perfect. A little bit less red chili okay. would have been perfect. Okay. It's yummy. It's tasty. Thank you. Wow. I made uh, three dishes, one for each edge. You like it. Yeah. This is called Katori Chaat, uh, very famous actually, uh, specifically as evening snacks. It has the onion, uh, tomatoes, chilies, uh, coriander, um, and prom pomegranate. Um, then we actually mix this with the curd, uh, imli ki chutney, and uh, you know samar hari chutney. And then we uh, we put everything in inside that Katori. Actually, uske saath wo bhi thoda sa taste bhi that is still a little warm inside. Yeah. Mm. I really like that. Um, the chutneys are top notch. Mm. And the, the combination inside is just the right mix. It's perfect mix. But it's supposed to be not spicy. But the, but the shell is too thick, if you ask me. And maybe because you you didn't get enough time or if it's not the right crispiness and maybe it's because it's too thick. That's yeah, my only question. In 25 minutes, he did his best yes. to do that. that. Is, there's so no, that I'll give him there's that no point, discounting the fact that what you did in I 25 minutes. I did not use the baking soda. I was confused. I was not sure because I was that it not go you know. Great, great effort and uh, uh, it's... It's comfort food, you right. know, everybody would like it. So it's uh, easy to make. Yeah. Yeah, so you nailed easy. it, you nailed it. Thank you, sir. Yeah. To the point, yes, as he said. It's perfectly blended, perfect, and I, I love your dish. Thank you very much, sir. So our final contestant, Sade, please. Hello, judges. Welcome. It's Looks good. So I made quinoa. So you cook quinoa with two cups of water and one cup of quinoa. And after that, I use the wok to make the stir fry. I put peppers and onions in the stir fry. And then I made kale and mushrooms on the side. It's, really it's well cooked. Very well. The mushrooms have just the right amount, right amount of crunch. They're not too soft. They're not raw. So that's good. Wow, a positive comment from Chef Navjot, wow. Did you cook the quinoa from scratch? Yes. Okay. Yeah, it's a nice blend. It's very sobering dish. But what I can suggest is if you would have added a little bit more of water to get it more, a little softer to get it. Mm -hmm. It's right now it's like too stuffed, mm -hmm. but it came out really good. Thank you. A lot of people like their quinoa different. You know, yeah, so, mm -hmm. I think I think you did the execution is good. Perfect. My only thing would be that it's too safe. Mm -hmm. You were asked in this round to bring out your best mm, dish or what you represents, you know, your most creative uh, self. Okay. From that angle, it's a little safe. Safe, if you, yes. but it I is agree. executed well. I agree with you, Chef. So, as as I said, plating is good. Decoration is amazing and it's still good, but that's just what I said. If you would add a little bit more water, it would have been more so here and much yeah. more tasty. More fluffy. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 
Let me tell you just saying one thing. I love the way you're smiling. Yes. And the way you were when you were cooking, you were smiling. Oh, okay. And I love it. Thank you. You're a Thank natural. You. I said that right away. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, Thank he, you. he just copied me. Yeah. <laughs> you're doing what you're doing. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Thank you. I think I would have uh, spent some more time in preparation because in between I was little nervous. I was worried whether the katori will come out or not. And then second, you know, whether I'll able to finish on time or not. So maybe a little bit practice. I would have cooked my food a little longer and I would have probably put something else on the plate. I'm pretty proud of myself for putting together this dish and plating. I've never actually plated before. So I'm... I'm good with what I did, and I'm happy about it. I, I think we were treated to some, some amazing great, dishes. Great yeah. dishes, some good creativity. And the standout, obviously, was the fact that he was able to cook some... Everything. Uh, the tokri and the, the perfect execution of the... Kale and, the kale kale and, and mushroom, mushroom. stir-fry along with the quinoa. The chutneys yes. in the pao, the baby slash pao bhaji. I can really go on good. and on. Yeah. What do you think was the weak points? The weak points I thought was like when about pao was a little bit more spicier sound side than that. But right. but in other ways she made it really tasted really good. So it came out really good. But presentation was okay because fifty percent of the plate was just covered with her pao, which I did not agree to right. come out that way, but but the kale and was really good. I like the kale and, and the mushroom blend was really good. She did a really good job. We do have to allocate marks based on taste, presentation, presentation. as well as creativity. Yeah, and that's exactly. I do you agree what I told Shade that it's safe, not creative yeah, enough? Yeah, because she didn't create nothing. She she played around the same right around what she wanted to be. What she saved to make. Well, it was tasty. I'm, yes. I've, I've saved it for later. It yes. was amazing. I think they all did great, and we have a tough job at our hands. So, guys, I can't wait any longer. I'm really nervous. Help us out here, judges. I'll just leave it to Navjot this time. Let's oh, let listen. him do the honors. Listen, great effort. Um, I must appreciate what all you did. But great effort. But we have to pick a winner. And you know what? Are you ready? Yes, of All right, come on. I'm not, I'm <laughs> not. Best, I man. want you guys to wait a little more. Are you ready? Yes. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> it is Lalit. Congratulations. Yay. Congratulations. Thank you. I found the judgment to be uh, pretty good. I understand where they thought I went wrong, especially because they explained it pretty well. And um, I know moving forward what I can fix in the dish. The judgment was good. They, they like my food. The quinoa could have been cooked a little more, I guess. But that's how I eat my quinoa, so I was just expecting everybody to like it. <laughs> I think it was pretty fair judgment, and I'm pretty happy that uh, you know I'm moving into the next round. So that's a wrap for episode two. What did we learn? Ah, oh, the herbs, the spices, the scintillating taste of India's street food. <laughs> Makes me want to go back to Mumbai, right? But, can't go. We still got episode three and three new contestants. So please join us next week and we'll see you on ShopRite Cooking Star, season two. ShopRite Cooking Star. Shop right, cooking star.